we're walking out of school because we want to stay in school longer because the budget cuts are like making school shorter. They say that it doesn't really, it's kind of being hypocritical that we're walking out of school to have more school, but really it's saying like if we can't like even get all our credits or spring sports, then what's like the point of even going to school? We believe, we believe that everyone deserves a good education. Um, we're doing this for you know school funding because basically our schools are dying here and and it's like the students responsibility to stand up for their own education when the community fails to do that so that's what we're doing we're taking like this is the first of many well it's not the first but it's the first this year of like many actions that we're taking we're organizing also a sit-in and we're organizing a free school for the days that are going to be cut which um, they're going to be either where anywhere from 15 15 have already been decided and there will probably be probably be another 10 to 15 days that'll be cut and during those times we're organizing sort of a free school where like students and teachers and community members can teach classes for free and we're also organizing a big rally later so this is the first of many messages that we're trying to send to the public that we really care about our education and that we're trying to get the word out there that students you know have a voice and they have unity you know the schools have unity and that um, another thing is we really want measure 28 to pass because um, if measure 28 doesn't pass then we'll have another nine million dollars cut from Portland Public Schools budget budget which would be like 10 days and if we're looking at 30 days, I mean, if you look at that, that's like, eventually they're just um, even thinking about not giving people, you know, diplomas because there's no schooling that's going on. And also, it, that's 15% um, of the teacher's pay, and that's, you know, it's pretty huge. So. Funding and math. Cutting school would be really bad and stuff like that. So budget cuts just to, and all the money going to war just really bad because I'm like against war. So yeah. My stagecraft class has nothing to do because they cut all the plays off. Yeah, and they, so they're cutting they drama, and that's yeah. my school major, man. Yeah, but they can afford to buy new computers oh, when we don't need them. administration is supportive not necessarily like with this exact thing because they can't really be supportive and I think they worry a little bit about um, you know safety issues but there's our principal if you want to talk to him <laughs> are you guys supportive of other actions of other actions <laughs> of other actions <laughs> not really this one but um, I know they'll support us later I know other administrations at other schools are more supportive <laughs>
first thing we've done. I'm sure a lot of people support us, and it's kind of fun because we just had the superintendent of the Portland schools speaking in there. I went back a little early just to hear what he had to say, and he, I had, he had some really good information about exactly what's happening, and, uh, and that was good. I'm really glad that like students are able to look at what tactics and what motives they want to do and what goals they think are going to be, you know, the best for them. We've had lots of threats from the, our staff and administration, sort of along the lines. Like the administration sent out, sent out a letter, and part of it was sort of saying that, um, you know, we're liable to get arrested by the police. That sort of scared kids. Also, um, some of the staff uh, are having required tests on this day, so that was sort of inappropriate. But I think that um, our other actions are going to support like way more, and those are going to be really big. And everyone from Lincoln will want to support those. So. I don't know. But I think it was a good day, I think.